Good morning, Sarah. How are you today? Good morning, Mr. Davis. I'm doing well, thank you. Fantastic. So, today I thought we could focus on improving your speaking skills for the IELTS exam. How does that sound? Sounds great. Speaking is the part I'm a bit nervous about. No worries, Sarah. We'll work on that together. Let's start with a warm-up. Tell me about your favorite hobby and why you enjoy it. Well, Mr. Davis, my favorite hobby is reading. I love getting lost in different worlds and learning new things from books. It helps me relax and expands my knowledge. Excellent, Sarah. You expressed yourself well. Now, let's try to add more details to your answers. Can you tell me about a specific book you recently read and what impact it had on you? Sure, Mr. Davis. I recently read To Kill a Mockingbird. It made me reflect on social issues and the importance of empathy. Atticus Finch's character inspired me to be more understanding and open-minded. Wonderful, Sarah. You're doing great. Now, let's move on to a different topic. How do you usually prepare for exams, and do you have any tips for staying focused during study sessions? When it comes to exam preparation, I create a study schedule to cover all topics. I also find it helpful to take short breaks to avoid burnout. Staying organized and setting realistic goals helps me stay focused. That's a solid strategy, Sarah. Now, let's work on expanding your answers. Can you give me an example of a challenging exam you faced and how you overcame it? Certainly, Mr. Davis. During my last semester, I had a difficult math exam. I struggled with some concepts, so I joined a study group to get help. We worked together, and it improved my understanding of the material. In the end, I performed much better than I expected. Excellent, Sarah. You're becoming more confident in your responses. Let's tackle a common IELTS topic, technology. How has technology influenced your daily life, and do you think it has more positive or negative effects? Technology has made my life more convenient, especially with online learning and communication. However, I believe there are both positive and negative aspects. While it connects people, it can also lead to over-reliance and decreased face-to-face -face interactions. Great analysis, Sarah. Now, let's work on incorporating more complex vocabulary into your answers. Can you elaborate on a specific technological advancement that has significantly impacted society? Certainly, Mr. Davis. The advent of artificial intelligence has revolutionized various industries, from healthcare to finance. Its ability to analyze vast amounts of data has led to breakthroughs in research and decision-making processes. Outstanding, Sarah. You've made remarkable progress in expanding your responses and incorporating more advanced vocabulary. Keep practicing, and I'm confident you'll do exceptionally well in the speaking section of the IELTS exam. Thank you, Mr. Davis. I appreciate your guidance. I'll make sure to continue practicing and refining my speaking skills. That's the spirit, Sarah. Now let's shift our focus to another common IELTS topic, travel. Can you share an unforgettable travel experience you've had and how it influenced your perspective on different cultures? Certainly, Mr. Davis. Last summer, I had the opportunity to visit Japan. The rich cultural heritage, the beautiful landscapes, and the politeness of the people left a lasting impression on me. It made me appreciate the diversity of the world and understand the importance of cultural exchange. Excellent choice, Sarah. Now let's delve deeper. Can you describe a specific cultural aspect from your trip to Japan that surprised or fascinated you? One thing that stood out was the emphasis on harmony and respect in Japanese culture. People were incredibly considerate, whether it was in public spaces or personal interactions. It made me reflect on the values we prioritize in different societies. Very insightful, Sarah. Now let's transition to a more abstract topic, success. How do you define success, and do you think it varies from person to person? Success, to me, is not just about achieving goals, but also finding fulfillment and happiness in what you do. It can indeed vary from person to person based on their values, 
aspirations, and life experiences. Well said, Sarah. Now let's practice expressing your opinion more assertively. Do you believe success is solely the result of individual efforts, or do external factors play a significant role? While individual efforts are crucial, I believe external factors like opportunities, support systems, and sometimes luck can also play a significant role in one's success. It's a combination of personal dedication and external circumstances. Excellent perspective, Sarah. Now let's tackle a more global issue, climate change. In your opinion, what responsibilities do individuals have in addressing environmental challenges, and how can we encourage sustainable practices? Individuals play a vital role in addressing climate change by adopting eco-friendly habits, reducing waste, and supporting sustainable initiatives. Education and awareness are key to encouraging widespread change, and communities need to work together to make a meaningful impact. Very thoughtful, Sarah. Now, let's wrap up our session with a reflection on your overall speaking skills. How do you feel about your progress, and what steps do you plan to take to further improve? I feel more confident, Mr. Davis, especially in expressing my thoughts and ideas. To further improve, I plan to engage in more discussions, listen to a variety of English speakers, and continue expanding my vocabulary. That's a solid plan, Sarah. Remember, consistency is key. Keep practicing, and I'm confident that you'll excel in the speaking section of the IELTS exam. If you ever need additional guidance, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you, Mr. Davis. I truly appreciate your support and guidance. I'll make sure to put in the effort to achieve the best results in my IELTS exam. You're very welcome, Sarah. I believe in your potential, and I'm here to help you succeed. Keep up the excellent work and happy studying. Thank you, Mr. Davis. Have a great day. You're welcome, Sarah. Before we conclude, Let's touch upon a topic that often comes up in the IELTS speaking section, education. Can you share your thoughts on the current education system and any changes you would propose to enhance it? Certainly, Mr. Davis. While the education system provides a foundation for learning, I think there's room for improvement in terms of adapting to different learning styles. Incorporating more practical, real-world applications in the curriculum could better prepare students for the challenges they'll face beyond the classroom. Well articulated, Sarah. Now let's delve into your personal experiences. Can you recall a particularly impactful lesson or teacher that significantly influenced your approach to learning? One memorable experience was in my literature class. My teacher not only taught us about the subject, but also encouraged critical thinking and analysis. It made me realize the importance of not just absorbing information, but questioning and understanding it on a deeper level. That's a powerful realization, Sarah. Now let's explore a more imaginative aspect. If you could design your own ideal school or learning environment, what key elements would you include to promote effective learning? In my ideal learning environment, there would be a balance between traditional classroom learning and hands-on experiences. Collaborative projects, interactive technology, and opportunities for self-directed learning would be key components. It's important to nurture both academic knowledge and practical skills. Very forward-thinking, Sarah. Now let's shift gears a bit. Many IELTS candidates find the topic of work and career interesting. Can you share your career aspirations and the steps you're taking to achieve them? I aspire to work in the field of environmental conservation. Currently, I'm pursuing a degree in environmental science, and I've been actively involved in volunteer work and internships related to sustainability. I believe combining education with practical experience is crucial for a successful career in this field. That's a commendable goal, Sarah. Connecting your studies with hands-on experience is a great strategy. Now, let's reflect on the broader picture. How do you think advancements in technology will impact future careers, and what skills do you think will be essential? With technology evolving rapidly, I believe future careers will require adaptability 
and a strong foundation in digital literacy. Critical thinking, problem solving, and interpersonal skills will remain crucial as automation takes over routine tasks. Continuous learning and staying updated with technological advancements will be essential. Very insightful, Sarah. It's evident that you've put a lot of thought into your career path. As we wrap up, do you have any questions or specific areas you'd like to focus on in our future speaking sessions? I don't have any specific questions at the moment, Mr. Davis, but I appreciate the opportunity to discuss a variety of topics. It has been immensely helpful in improving my speaking skills. I'm glad to hear that, Sarah. Remember, our sessions are here to address any concerns or topics you'd like to explore. Keep up the great work, and I look forward to our future conversations. If anything comes up, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you, Mr. Davis. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Have a wonderful day. You too, Sarah. Take care and happy studying. Before we conclude, Sarah, let's touch upon a topic that often comes up in the IELTS speaking section, globalization. How do you think globalization has impacted your community and what are the positive and negative aspects you see? That's an interesting topic, Mr. Davis. In my community, globalization has brought both opportunities and challenges. On the positive side, there's increased cultural exchange, access to diverse products, and opportunities for international collaboration. However, it also brings concerns about the loss of local traditions and economic inequalities. Your observations are insightful, Sarah. Now, let's dive deeper. Can you share a specific example of how globalization has affected your community, whether it's in terms of cultural influences, business dynamics, or social interactions? Certainly, Mr. Davis. With the rise of e-commerce, local businesses in my community have faced both opportunities and challenges. While some have expanded their customer base globally, others struggle to compete with larger international companies. It highlights the complex impact of globalization on the local economy. Your example adds a practical dimension to your response, Sarah. Now, let's shift to a more personal perspective. How has globalization influenced your life directly, whether through your education, lifestyle, or the way you connect with people? Globalization has had a significant impact on my education. I've had the opportunity to engage with diverse perspectives through online courses and connect with students from around the world. It has broadened my understanding of different cultures and viewpoints, enriching my learning experience. That's a great point, Sarah. Now, let's explore a more creative aspect. If you were to create a project that promotes positive aspects of globalization, what would it be and how would you implement it in your community? I would create a cultural exchange program that encourages individuals from different countries to spend time in my community and vice versa. This would foster mutual understanding, celebrate diversity, and address stereotypes. It could involve educational activities, community events, and collaborative projects to promote positive cross-cultural interactions. That's a fantastic initiative, Sarah. It not only promotes understanding, but also actively engages the community in a meaningful way. Now, as we wrap up, is there a specific topic or skill you'd like to focus on in our future speaking sessions? I think delving into more complex vocabulary and refining my ability to express opinions on abstract topics would be beneficial, Mr. Davis. Absolutely, Sarah. We'll incorporate that into our future sessions. Keep up the excellent work and feel free to reach out if you have any questions or specific areas you'd like to address. Happy studying. Thank you, Mr. Davis. I appreciate your guidance. Have a wonderful day. You too, Sarah. Take care, and I look forward to our next conversation. Good day, Sarah. How has your week been? Hello, Mr. Davis. It's been good, thank you. I've been focusing on practicing my speaking skills as we discussed. That's fantastic to hear, Sarah. Let's continue our journey of improvement. Today, 
I'd like to touch upon a topic that often appears in the IELTS speaking section, health. Can you share your perspective on the importance of a healthy lifestyle, and what habits do you follow to maintain your well-being? Of course, Mr. Davis. I believe a healthy lifestyle is crucial for overall well-being. Personally, I prioritize regular exercise, a balanced diet, and sufficient sleep. It helps me stay energized and focused on my studies. Excellent, Sarah. Now, let's dig a bit deeper. Can you discuss a specific health challenge you faced and how you addressed it? It could be a physical or mental health challenge. Sure, Mr. Davis. Last year, I experienced a period of high stress due to exams, and it affected my sleep and concentration. To overcome it, I started practicing mindfulness and incorporated relaxation techniques into my daily routine. It made a significant difference in managing stress. It's great that you found effective strategies, Sarah. Now let's transition to a more global health perspective. Given the recent global events, what do you think are the challenges and benefits of a coordinated international response to health crises? The recent events have highlighted the interconnectedness of global health. While a coordinated international response can lead to efficient resource allocation and information sharing, challenges such as unequal access to vaccines and differing healthcare systems need to be addressed. It emphasizes the importance of global collaboration in the face of health crises. Very insightful, Sarah. Now let's shift gears a bit. Education is another common IELTS topic. In your opinion, what role does technology play in modern education and how has it influenced your learning experience? Technology has significantly transformed education, Mr. Davis. It provides access to a wealth of information, facilitates online learning, and enhances communication between students and teachers. Personally, I've benefited from online resources and collaborative platforms that complement traditional classroom learning. That's a great perspective, Sarah. Now let's explore the role of teachers. In your view, what qualities make a teacher effective? And can you share an experience with a teacher who had a positive impact on your education? An effective teacher, in my opinion, is not only knowledgeable, but also approachable and supportive. They should inspire curiosity and foster a positive learning environment. I had a math teacher who, through patience and encouragement, helped me overcome my fear of the subject and sparked my interest in mathematics. It's wonderful to hear about the positive influence of a teacher, Sarah. Now let's touch upon a more creative aspect. If you could design your own ideal learning environment, what elements would it include to optimize the learning experience? In my ideal learning environment, there would be a blend of traditional and experiential learning, interactive technology, small group discussions, and opportunities for hands-on projects would be incorporated. It's essential to cater to different learning styles and foster critical thinking. A well-thought-out approach, Sarah. Now, as we conclude, is there a specific aspect or topic you'd like to focus on in our next speaking session? I'd like to work on expanding my vocabulary further, Mr. Davis, especially in expressing opinions on more abstract topics. Absolutely, Sarah. We'll dedicate time to that in our future sessions. Keep up the excellent work, and if you have any questions or topics you'd like to explore, feel free to let me know. Happy studying! Thank you, Mr. Davis. I appreciate your support. Have a great day. You too, Sarah. Take care, and I look forward to our next conversation.